When DV Image AI was released, it wasn't very exciting for me because it looked like it was lacking a lot of features, therefore not making it very practical. But I have good news for you. There's been a latest update on DV Image AI, which I think you'll find very exciting. And definitely it was exciting for me. So all of a sudden, DV Image AI can be now used in real practical situations. Hey, by the way, if you purchase DV or DV AI, I will give you access to the DV Blueprint course. This is a course that teaches you how to use DV effectively, saving you hours and hours researching on YouTube on how to use DV. All right, guys, let's get started. I have this image here. So let's say you want to change this T-shirt here. This will save you a lot of time going to uh, reshoots and uh, try and make this image again. So with AI, you can really make this change. So when you hover over here, you click on this AI icon. So what you'll notice is there are new features here. There's one called modify. Now I am going to go through all of these just to show you how they all work. Now, after you hit modify, what you want to do is to start painting. So you can see here, I have this brush here. So you just start painting around the image like that. And you're going to get this mask. Now, for those of you that have used uh, Photoshop before, you can definitely see a bit of similarities here. So once you paint the area that you need to update, all you have to do now is to give the image fill description. So I'm just going to say black t-shirt. So as you add your black t-shirt here and click generate modified image, this now is going to uh, generate a few images that has uh, this particular image with a black t-shirt. Now this is very exciting as I mentioned before, this is going to save you a lot of time going back to the photo shoot and trying to uh, reshoot this scene. Now as you see, as you can see here, in fact, why don't I just go into the, one of these so you can see clearly what it looks like. Now this looks really, really well done. You can see that. Now I've noticed one thing. You have to be very, very careful when you use this. Now this eye here doesn't look right. Okay, so this is why it's important that you go in and really check to see if everything is okay. But the most important thing here is the t-shirt has been updated. You can see here, this is now uh, black. Now there are also other parameters here, so you can modify the uh, strength here like that, and then you can regenerate this if the AI is a bit too strong. But the most important thing here is we can go in and edit an existing um, picture to suit whatever you want. Now I have more examples for you. Now let's get out of this one here. Now when you look at this image here, you can see here it lacks saturation. So this new DV Image AI update also has a feature where you can go in and fix this. So I'm gonna click here on the AI and I'm gonna say uh, modify. And by the way, you also have these tabs here where you can do a few more things. You can extend, upscale and so on. But for now, we wanna go in and enhance this image. So as you can see here, it's a bit washed out. So we want to increase the saturation and increase the contrast. Now this is telling us the strength. So I could say maybe start with 40 and then say enhance image. Now one thing that I wish they had here was sort of like a side to side before and after. So you can see the change and then you can go back in and make these modifications. I guess maybe that's something that could be added. Now if they were to do this, this will be super, super awesome. So we're going to give this a bit of time. And as you can see, we have uh, an updated image here. Already I can see that this has changed. Now let's go in a little bit here. Now you see, this is where I was saying we may need a before and after so we can see what this looks like. But for now, I can see here that the contrast, I mean, the contrast has been uh, increased a little bit and also the saturation has been increased. Now at this point, let's say you want to upscale this. If you click on this tab here, you can make this image even bigger by, um, by doing that and then upscale the image. Now the question is, why would you want to do that really? Because if you make your image bigger, it's going to make your website slower. So you could actually do this, download it, and then use this for maybe as a printing job. So that's where I would really upscale this. Or perhaps maybe you have a very, very small image that you've used, but you want to make it bigger. That's again where this can be used. All right, so I also have another exciting example. I'm going to get out of here. So uh, in this example, let's say you want to add some elements to this image right here. So what you want to do again, you hover over here, click on AI, and then you want to edit. So this time, if you click on modify, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to image sketch. So this is where, in fact, let's get rid of this so you can see me doing it in real time. Right, so this 
is our image. So what you want to do is you can choose whatever color you want to uh, use to paint. So I'm going to use, um, let's say, something like that. And also here you have the brush. So you can make the brush smaller if you want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint an area here where I want to uh, modify this image. So all you have to do is to go in and just draw the area where you want to uh, add whatever element it is onto your image. Okay, so now that I've painted this, I'm now going to come over here on image field description and I'm going to say um, farm buildings. So because that's what we need to add. So there we go, I'm with my farm buildings here. I'm gonna click on generate modified image. So what it's going to do now is it's going to use the existing image and then add another image on top, but try to make it as if this image was taken at the same time. So this is again where it gets really exciting. Now, every time I do this, I'm always looking forward to finding out what sort of images I get. Now I have this one here. I'm not sure why we have this green here on the top, but you can see here it almost did it. So I'm gonna say generate four more. Now I'm not sure if this is going to continue generating images based on my original image. Let's wait and see. Now if it does that, this will be very exciting. But already we can see that it has added that shed, which is pretty cool. So let's see what this is gonna come up with. Oh, there we go, we're almost there. And sure enough, look at that. I am really loving this. So you can see here, we have a couple of um, um, images here, I mean buildings, which work really well. You can see even the shadows here are really cool. So the AI is definitely working, which is really, really good. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, I also have another exciting example. Now, I've been playing this with this uh, DV Image AI for a while and it is super, super cool. So we want to change this guy and dress him in a suit. Now, let's see how that's going to work out. So again, I'm going to click here and then go into AI. So again, I'm going to come over here and say modify. So what I want to do now is I'm going to come to image selection. So first of all, before I go into the suit, let's see how we can change this background. Now, I'm already going in and painted the background. So basically, I'm excluding this guy here. So I'm going to say um, office background, or let's just say office. Let's see what comes up. I'm just adding one word. Uh, now, I'll be interested to see if this is really going to think about what I'm thinking and add an office background because I've just added the word office. Okay, here's the moment of truth. And sure enough, we have some sort of, um, in fact, let's click over here so we can see. There we go. So yeah, it looks like an office. <laughs> we have a laptop here, which is pretty cool. So again, as I mentioned, you can change the modify strength here. Now, let's say we want to uh, change this guy and dress him in a suit. So again, what you want to do is to come over here and modify. So this time we want to do the opposite of what we did. So I'm just going to go and undo all this. And this time I want to paint in the guy. All right, so let's start off and start painting. By the way, as I mentioned, you can go in and change the brush size depending on what you are painting in. So I'm just going to be careful, but at the same time, you don't have to be super, super careful spending so much time trying to work on this. The AI is smart enough to know what you are trying to do. All right, so I'm almost done here. And in a moment, we are going to see if we can dress this guy in a suit. I'm also curious to see what this is going to look like. All right, so I've painted pretty much um, what the guy is wearing. So I am going to say uh, navy blue suit. How about that? Navy blue suit. And then we're going to click on generate a modified image. Again, you can, you know, specify the strength here, but I'm just going to go for it. Again, fingers crossed. <laughs> Curious to see what we are going to get from this. I mean, with AI, you just never know <laughs> what comes up. So uh, again, we're almost there. And sure enough, wow, this is amazing. Now let's take a look at some of these. As I mentioned before, you've got to be careful. You can see here the hand doesn't look right and the shoulders doesn't, uh, don't look right, but it almost got it. Now let's go back. So let's have a look at this one here. So I would probably go with this one. So this one is a bit more realistic, but the most important thing is we started off with uh, a different jacket, but now we have a suit. So if you want to modify this a bit further, you can just go in and perhaps change the background into whatever background you want. Now, this is very, very exciting. I think I've got one more example where you can extend the image. So let's close out of here. 
and uh, this time in fact you know what why don't you go in and let me show you a few more features so you want to hover over edit with image ai and then you want to go and modify now it doesn't matter which one you select because you you always get all these different options all right so while we're here you can extend it so let's go 16 by 9 and you can move it over to the side here and then you can uh, describe what you want the field to be so that's pretty cool so i can just say uh modern office but as you can see here there is a very small space to fill in with the modern office so again it's always very exciting to see what the a uh, ai comes up with but the idea is it fills up that space with uh, something which makes it a complete image if you want to use a uh, 16 by 9 now a 16 by 9 image is mostly used for uh, hero images now <laughs> look at this guys this is very exciting now if i take a look at this one here um let's see in fact you know what i am just going to go in and select it so i'm going to click here to download it so this is the beauty of uh, using Div Divi Image AI. You can download these images onto your media library and then reuse them. So that's really, really cool. So that's the example. Now, I know it's taking a bit long. It's because the image is quite big, but um, you would need to go in there and make it a bit smaller. So now we can go in and choose our image just like that. Upload image. And there we go. So now you can see here we have the nice window here with some blinds. So that now has become a 16 by 9 image. Pretty cool. So as you can see, you can do quite a few exciting things with DV Image AI. All right, so there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.